My name is Carl. I'm going to take the next session, and that's how to um, integrate PayFast into your store. Can I just see how many of you have set up your store now? Um, okay. So the, the very next step would be first to go to payfast.co.za, payfast.co.za. Okay, this, this part is to actually accept online payments through credit cards, through um, instant e EFT, and through, um, through debit cards. Um, and we're going to do that through PayFast. So um, there's basically three things that we're going to need in the WooCommerce section to hook up this thing, and that is um, a merchant key, and we're going to need a passphrase, and then we're also going to need another key. It's those three keys that we're going to need. Um, so let's go to pay fast and we go to sign up. Are we there? Payfast.co.za. Go to internet. Login? Log yes. And login. So you already have a pay fast account. Okay. Then you go to login. If you already have a pay fast account, you can just go to login. So we go to sign up. Okay. Then we're going to get to the screen. Are we there? Okay. We just complete the relevant detail there, accept the user agreement, and then we click Next. Can we carry on? Okay. And then we need to choose whether this business or this PayFast account would be for an individual, a registered business, or a charity or nonprofit. Okay, so you choose the relevant option there. Then we start filling out the form that we've, that we've got on the next page. Um, your, your trading name, that could be your business name, actually, as well. If you're a sole proprietor, proprietor it, will be, um, it can also be your trading name, your name, if you're a one-man band with a small business selling your stuff. Okay, and then you choose your industry. Then you select how you will use PayFast, and obviously this would be to use it to accept payments in your e-commerce website. Okay. Select where you heard about PayFast, word of mouth, or Google search, or whatever was the case. Um, so everybody still with me? Okay. Okay, then there's two, sec two secret questions that you just need to select and answer. Um, for if you lose your password, that's, that you're going to retrieve it by entering those two questions. You choose the two questions and give the answer there. Okay. And then the last section there is just your physical address and your bank detail. Then... You insert your yeah. You insert your physical address and then your bank detail. Okay. Now this is the bank detail that you're also going to verify um, at the end if you supply your documents. Okay. If we and then you um, register, click on register. Okay. Okay. Then you should see this screen. So, um, anybody there? Okay. Now, if we are this far, we need to go to our email that we've entered there and just verify our email address. Otherwise, we won't be able to log into our PayFast account. Okay. We go to our email, click on the verification link, And after we've done that, it's going to take us to this page back to PayFast where we can log in. Okay, then we're going to enter our email account. We're going to enter our 
How fast would? And this is our dashboard. Now, we have not yet supplied PayFast with the relevant documentation, okay? But still, we will be able to accept EFT payments, instant EFT payments through our account already, okay? So that can be done already without supplying the, the documents, um, the, the supporting documents. We need to supply the supporting documents to be able to accept credit card payments and also debit card payments, even Bitcoin, and that's the, that's the options we've got. Okay. Now you'll see there's a button which uh, reads user account, not verified. There, your profile is 86% from complete, or sometimes it says 83%. When we click on user account, it's going to give us the opportunity now to, to supply the verifying documents. Okay, we get to this screen. Now the verifying documents would be then an ID book copy, a copy of your physical address, that could be a telecom account or a municipality account, and then also a bank statement from your bank with your bank detail that needs to be supplied there. Okay, so there's, so there's three documents that needs to be uploaded now for you to be able to accept credit card payments. And you can uh, do that by clicking on that button at, at the right top corner. Click to upload. And then you upload those three documents. Okay. As soon as the one is uploaded, you can go to the next one and upload the next one and then the third one. Okay, then after that, if all three of your documents are there, you can click Next. Okay. There you will need to um, just supply them with the detail of those three documents that you've just uploaded. In other words, your first document would be then an ID document, and it would be, if it's a SA ID, ID document, you will just give the description there. It could be a passport. You can just put it in there then. And then under physical address, what is that? Is it a telecom account? What is that? And then under your bank details, what have you used? If it's a bank statement, you can just put the description in there. Now, this process will take about 24 hours, okay, before this account would be then verified, okay? After that, you can just click on Submit Verification Documents. Okay, and then you will get to this page. Okay, after you've, you've submitted your documents, you will um, have now the ability to accept MasterCard, Visa, EFT, Bitcoin and master pass payments. Okay. So before we did that, we could only accept instant EFT payment. Okay. Now, if you have not yet um, installed the WooCommerce PayFast Gateway plugin, you can do it now. Otherwise, you can just go to your settings in WooCommerce. And under the WooCommerce settings, under, under, under the Payments tab, you will see that the PayFast is there at the bottom. Then you need to go and click on Setup. Okay. Now, this you can do without your documents being verified yet. Okay. You don't have to wait for your documents to be, to be verified be, uh, before you do this. Okay. This can be done now. And if we do this now, uh, we can still accept EFT, instant EFT payments. Okay, if we go to setup, you'll see that we're going to need here three different keys. The one is a merchant ID key, the second one is a merchant key, and then the third one is a passphrase. Now, those three keys we're going to get from our PayFast account. Okay. 
So we go back to our PayFast dashboard. We go to settings at the top right corner, settings, and then integration. Okay, and then you will find your merchant ID key right there at the top. I've selected it in blue there. You can just copy that key of yours and then just enter that into the relevant space at your payments settings tab. And then the next one would be your merchant, your merchant key. And uh, that would be the second one there. You can just copy that one and then also paste or enter that into your merchant key space. And the last key that we're going to need there will be the passphrase, okay? So we're going, to, we're going to create a passphrase now in the PayFast dashboard. You'll see there this, the, this, the one that's selected there in blue, security passphrase. You need to click on add. You click on add, and then you're going to create a passphrase there, okay? You'll see this screen appearing. Okay, you enter the passphrase there, and then you click on update. After you've done that, you will see that you've got your passphrase now that you can copy from the dashboard. And then you can enter that into your WooCommerce section. Then you'll see there's a PayFast sandbox section. That is now if you... Uh, are in development mode and you want to test um, your, your settings through to pay fast, you will keep it there until, you, until you're happy. Um, we, we won't be able to go through that now. It, it, it's not really enough time. So um, you untick that if you want to accept payments. Okay. And then you click on save settings at the bottom of this page. You just click on save settings. And there you are. That's all the steps that you need for accepting those online payments. Now, this PayFast integration, if you sign up for a PayFast account, it doesn't cost you a cent, okay? The only thing that's going to cost you money is as soon as you sell something, okay? And the costs for that, um, there we've got it. The, we've got instant EFT, all these it's 2% of, um, of the sale from your online store and the minimum of 2 Rand. And then there's all the others, 3.5, 3.5, and 3.5 for debit cards and Bitcoin 1.9%. These are all um, VAT exclusive. And then a payout fee. So if you decide, okay, now I've got my money in my PayFast account, but... It needs to be in my bank account now. You can just withdraw that money in your dashboard. For each withdrawal, you pay 8 rand 70 plus VAT. Okay. Uh, you can also set up scheduled payments in your dashboard. So if you decide every month the money in my PayFast account needs to be paid over to my bank account, you can set it up to pay in a, on a monthly basis. Um, so it doesn't make sense every time you make a sale, you pay the money over into your bank account because you pay 870 plus VAT for each, each and every payout fee. Thank you so much.